Posterior capsular tears occurring early on during FACO are relatively rare, but they're always difficult to deal with and to get a good result. The two major challenges you face are firstly to successfully remove the remaining nucleus without dropping any of it into the vitreous, and secondly to avoid tearing the retina through vitreoretinal traction. So in this movie we're going to identify the main causes, review the signs, and look at how best to manage this problem. Finally, we'll use this experience to learn the important lesson of how to prevent it happening in the future. When you analyse the underlying causes, there are really just four main mechanisms that lead to early posterior capsule rupture. Firstly is the peripheral extension of an undetected anterior capsular tear. Usually the first thing you know about this is when the nucleus suddenly tilts and starts dropping backwards, rather reminiscent of a sinking ship as it upends before dropping to the ocean floor.